So now we have the Performance Insight app. So let's go ahead and click on that. Again, it's going to open up another web page. Uh, it's going to do the same thing for security option. So I'm going to say, okay, details, go to the web page. So here is the Performance Insight app. Uh, and you can see you can use this app free of charge, a free basic license is there. I'm going to agree. So it's successfully registered. So here is the main dashboard of our plant. So this is how it looks. So let's go ahead and create our dashboard. I'm going to call it tank. Uh, I'm going to say, let's just look at last three hours for now. Right. And create. And we can change it from here. So if you click here, you can go back to month eight, whatever range you want. Okay. So here's our main dashboard. Uh, let's go ahead and create the different widgets. So here are the different widgets. So we have some graphs, some values, some Gantt charts, some gauges, pie charts, heat map. Uh, let's see, I wanna first make sure I can get some values to my edge app and running, right? So let's say we want level one, all right? Calculation, I want it per minute, all right? Hit next, select the parameters. So here's all my variables. So I want level one choose continue oops let's go back so what is this average so here is min max sum last counter timer oh so if you select it average it's gonna do its own average calculation and show you the value if you do last it will show you the last value so i like the last value uh, another alternate label some low limits and high limits uh, let's say we put in low limit as 20 uh, that's the alert. Uh, this is at 40 and then high limit. Let's say it's at 70 and then alarm is at 90. All right, let's go next and show statistics. Hit finish. So let's see what our value is here. So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go to our home page. Uh, here is the option for the runtime. So I'm gonna do start runtime, which actually is open in the background. So with this panel, it's got its own Linux operating system. So there is a little taskbar just like Windows here. And then if you don't see the runtime running and you think it's in a loop, see, it, not, it did nothing, right? So it's actually running in the background. Even if we click start runtime, you have to come here and go there. All right, so value is 33. I see 33 right there. Let's change it. Hopefully I can change it. There we go, 84. And it takes a few seconds to get the data through ethernet to the PC to the Edge app and update on the browser. And hopefully it changes to 84. There we go, 84. What happens if I go, oh, right there, yellow triangle, the little diamond thing. So I think it was a low error. Or the alarm so yeah alarm was set at 90 right so anything higher than 90 is red and then the yellow zone was i think 70 to 90. all right cool so we did get our value and i'm just generating all this random bunch of random values here so let's minimize this and let's go ahead and go to our settings add a new widget uh, let's go ahead and pick a different option here now so let's see what are our different options. Let's see, pick up a gauge. Uh, let's call it pressure one. Again, I'll do minutes. Select the parameter uh, right there, pressure one. That's the one I want. And I want the last value. Click next. Uh, low limit, high limit, I'll do the same. Let's say 10, 20. 80, 90, uh, this time it's asking, okay, what's the value to show? So I'm not sure if it's 0 to 100 or 0 to 200 or 150. Let's just put 150. Hit finish. So now it's going to give me a gauge for 0 to 150. Oh, and it automatically created this green and yellow and all this red zone by the values that I put in. All right, uh, there is red. Let's get rid of this red. Let's bring it to a nicer value, 48. So that should go away. Uh, let's add a new widget. Mm, let's add our temperature option also. 
Oh, uh, let's go to this diagram and see what that does. So let's say we'll call it a trend per minute. Hit next, select parameters. And there's options for this KPI. So here's variables, KPIs, assets. All right, let's do this one and then we'll do the KPI and poke around for that. Uh, all right, so we were doing a trend screen. So let's go ahead and add everything to the trend. So more parameters. So we got temperature one, pressure one, level one, level two, pressure two, temperature two. Oh, everything is average. I like the last values. So I'm going to change all of them to last. So it's the actual values and not the average values. So let's go ahead and change all them to last. So they're all last. Uh, let's go ahead and look at next. So we have nothing much here. Hit next and finish. So now it's going to create a nice trend screen. It's pretty small. Uh, what's that right there? So I can make it little bigger so I can see it and voila so we started doing this and right there is all our trend values for the past 10 15 minutes or so all right uh, let's look at all these options here so now there is configuration status mapping uh, new status mapping KPIs yep that's where we were looking for KPIs so let's create a new KPI type uh, name so let's say I want to look at average temperature so call it two variable average unit uh, it could be anything so I'm just gonna call it unit uh, let's see formula so I got that at operon so I'll call it variable one plus variable two and then divide it by two so I can take the average hit save all right so two variable average uh, let's go back to our configuration delete and use KPI instances I think it will delete it no one use KPI instance available okay so it's there okay it didn't delete it uh, user information let's look at the settings usage information what are we using uh, user list if there is any user list all right, let's go back to our plant configuration. So here's our dashboard. Let's look at a new widget. Uh, let's look at uh, value again. Uh, this time, let's call it temperature average. Uh, again, I'm going to select minutes. Hit continue. Let's go here this time. New KPI instance. So tank one and two average. I'm gonna look for KPIs which are typed or without KPIs. So this option, if it's only used one, and this is if we defined it. So I'm gonna select the type that we already defined, uh, and then I can link here temperature one and temperature two, and it's the same thing. I'm going to do last value and last value right there. Hit save. Let's see what it does. So I got edge KPI. Next, hit finish. And here is that values. So it's got 89.5 average. Uh, let's look at our values right there. Oh, it did change 85.5. So it's just doing an aggregate of these two values and dividing by two. Uh, the values are jumping too fast, so I don't think we can look at it uh, like what it's actually doing. Uh, let's change these values. Uh, all right. So let's say if I click finish to the dashboard, what does it do? So I can look at more data. Let's see. Does it show day anything? So it's trying to pull the data for the whole day. But I think the panel was just rebooted. So yeah, it's only collecting when we started the data. Uh, so let's go back for the last three hours. Hit OK. Uh, and then there is this little icon for the more details. So let's look at the details. 
for our level one value. So I'm gonna make a bunch of changes and see what it does. So it should now come back to zero. So here is the values. And then if I scroll here, choose the histogram. So all this was done automatically from the app. I didn't create anything. So all I did is go to this option for the data service and connect all the tags created our aspect which i don't know what would be the purpose of this aspect i think just to group everything the way we want it and then under performance insight all the widgets and the dashboards are easy to create it's all built in you just map the values you want and it's all configured for you thank you